Good morning. How's it going? I'm Jeremy Stevig. Just kind of wanted to do this like video update thing. I'm always, I mean, you know, I get on Facebook. I almost never get on MySpace anymore. But um, basically, you know, I mean, I can, I can type the text and you know be like yeah this is what I'm doing this is what I'm thinking this is what I'm up to but I just kinda wanted to make this video so that you could not only know what's going on you could see me you could hear me and you know it feels like we're having a conversation so with that in mind and since I love conversations I'll drink my coffee mmm yumminess I love it. Okay, so basically, this is what's going on. Um, just to kind of give you an update. First of all, uh, first of all, for those of you that I haven't like actually spoken to in a while, I mean, text messaging on my phone, you know, is is one thing, but um, I know it's been brought up a few times. Um, in the past and sometimes in heated discussions but basically like the sole focus and purpose of my life is Jesus um, Jesus has worked such a way in my life that nothing is as exciting to me as what Jesus is doing because what Jesus is doing involves like you know me being saved from my sin from my failings from my you know inability to cope with the life that comes at me and through the grace that's given to me because Jesus was you know murdered and tortured by his own people um, so that he could die and we can live um, in fullness of life. Uh, that doesn't mean that we won't suffer. That doesn't mean that we won't have trouble. But man, it's a whole lot easier to face it knowing that we have Jesus. Um, so when I fail at jobs, you know, and when I fail at anything, I know that it isn't really a failure, it's just a setback. And that I can keep moving forward. Um, to that effect, um, I have, uh, I've been applying at a lot of different jobs. Um, I've kind of like gone back to my grassroots. Um, two things that I can do well, that I can tolerate doing, um, or I enjoy doing, depending on the circumstances. I've got like a flake of skin on me or something. Um, basically, washing dishes or working in coffee shops. I've been applying at a bunch of them. Um, IHOP, Village Inn, Denny's, Cracker Barrel, um, as well as coffee shops. Um, I'm waiting to hear back from. Um, I've been, you know, talking to managers, trying to get that world worked out. Um, aside from like that, you know, like like God's gonna hook me up with a job, eventually, because God's good like that. Um, also. Um, also, he's kind of given me more of my purpose, like my calling, you know, what, what I'm supposed to be doing, like what he wants me to do as well. Um, it's kind of a given that, you know, we're supposed to work, and I have a lot of failings that ingrained in who I am because of a lifetime of bad decisions and being prone to making bad decisions and not having any kind of discipline um, 
but God heals those things and I'll get through them. Because that's what God does. He redeems. He transforms, sanctifies. Um, so, but uh, basically, um, aside from that, I've been called to reach out to the city, the community. Um, I'm looking to grow and learn to be a leader in the church, in the Christian community, plugged into multiple churches, being able to like love, serve, and bless <coughs> um, the body as a whole, because I believe in an in, innate sense of unity. Um, I'm not sure what the whole deal is of like, yeah, there's you know tons of denominations out there, um, but if we're all one body, I have to ask the question, why don't we interact more? Why is there such division, and sometimes even competition and rivalry among churches? I'm not really sure why this is, but nevertheless, like, we should all be seeking to, like, work in unity, because we are all one body under Jesus Christ the head. So... I've been plugging into multiple churches, and I'm not even really sure anymore where God is necessarily going to um, put me to root um, and, you know, dig roots in. Um, I've pondered the possibility that um, he might put me in such a position to where my roots can dig into all of a handful of churches that he wants me to be a part of. Um, so basically, um, my week has... Oh, I'm only at seven minutes. Okay. My week has been looking like... Um, or at least it's... I, I think it's going to look like... Um, basically... Saturday night, um, I've been, like, I'm going to start going to, to the Saturday night Calvary Chapel thing. Saturday night, Calvary Chapel thing. Sunday morning, I've been going to Heights Christian Church. Um, Sunday night, and possibly even Wednesday night, it, um, um, give me a chance to um, keep going to Mars Hill. Um, Wednesday night, they have this leadership thing going on. I think it's still going on. I've missed a bunch of them. But, uh... So... Yeah, we'll see. But God is good. And I'm, you know, trying to piece it all together and make sense of it all. But God is good and He'll point me in the right direction. And... important that I, you know, seek him and seek to walk humbly and be led and be open to being led, so that's kind of where I am. Mm, this is good coffee. I'm kind of getting hungry. I need to figure out what I'm going to eat. So, to close, I just want to read. A lot of people have read this, and a lot of people have used this as encouragement and whatnot, but I just want to apply it to me specifically. Where is the 29? Is 11. Okay, so basically, Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. In verse 12, let's say I keep going. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your heart. I will be found, declares the Lord, and bring you back from captivity. And gather you from all nations and places I have banished you, declares the Lord, and will bring you t back to the place for which I carried you into exile. So basically, God, God has plans for us. And those who seek Him humbly with all of their hearts, they will find him. He is there to be found, and if you seek him with all your hearts, humbly, you will find him. He is there, he is real, 
You can't miss him. He makes himself clear to you. He has plans to prosper you, not to harm you. All good comes from God. And only good comes from God. Even when it seems like it's bad, it's meant for good, and it will be good in the end, because those who seek him humbly with all our, all our hearts acknowledge that, you know, when bad things happen, God is good. And good comes from it because God reigns in the end. And that is what I take refuge in.